Building houses of worship for the Christian communities began in the early ages. Despite persecutions, these communities flourished and succeeded. Prior being allowed to lawfully construct churches, Christians would come together in secrecy and worship in their houses. As Christianity spread, more people accepted it as the truth and the new way of life, and there was a need for larger spaces of worship. Thus they began to build churches. Similarly, by the effort of the Apostles, Christianity was brought to Armenia. Even though the Apostles were not welcomed by the locals, were persecuted and later martyred, the teachings of Christ were embraced by some. Hence, gradually, Christians in Armenia who practiced their faith secretly developed into stronger organized communities. However, Christianity was now fully accepted as the fate of the nation until few critical events. In the year 301, St. Gregory the Illuminator saw Christ descending from heaven and striking the soil with the golden hammer, where the future Mother Church of all Armenians was built. The Church of St. Mary, also known as the Holy Cathedral of Echmiadzin, became one of the first churches to be built in the Christian world. With the same enthusiasm, Armenian Christian communities started to construct churches, which then became strongholds of faith and spiritual knowledge, places of comfort and refuge for many generations to come. These holy sites turned the land of Armenians into an open sky treasure house. 1700 years has passed, yet in an Armenian community, the building of a church remains as the symbol and the cradle of Christian truth and national identity. I should like to see any power of the world destroy this race, this small tribe of unimportant people whose wars have all been fought and lost, whose structures have crumbled, literature is unread, music is unheard, and prayers are no more answered. Go ahead, destroy Armenia. See if you can do it. Send them into the desert without bread or water. Burn their homes and churches. Then see if they will not laugh, sing and pray again. For when two of them meet anywhere in the world, see if they will not create a new Armenia. For ages, history routinely forced us to look for shelters and safe havens in other countries, as our homeland was being attacked and conquered almost unceasingly. It did not matter where we went, we would build churches, which for us was the expression of our identity. Consequently, our sanctuaries of worship were built with particular style and spirit, where every aspect and detail contained meaning where objects and sounds were composed with wisdom and light. Today we continue to build our churches with the same spirit, which can be seen in many countries around the world, from Singapore to Uruguay, India to Canada, Brazil to Russia, and to the United States of America. Starting from the early 19th century, Waves of Armenian immigrants arrived to the United States and established communities and churches. Today, under the auspices of the two dioceses, in the eastern and western hemisphere of the United States, there are over 100 Armenian churches which provide their services to the faithful. Throughout the history, Christian communities succeeded in their mission and found centers that symbolized the might and the integrity of the church. These educational and cultural institutions ensured the further existence and prosperity of the community. In the heart of these institutions stood the most important and visible part of the success, the cathedral.
Armenian Christian communities were no different. The Cathedral of the Mother See of Holy Echmiadzin, the Cathedral of the Apostles in Datev, the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Ganzasar, the Holy Virgin Cathedral of Ani, and many others are witnesses of the success of Armenian Christianity. The cathedral will become the cornerstone for the diocesan parishes. It will strengthen the bond between the Armenian Church and her faithful, and will spread the Christian spirit that will become the guiding ingredient of our souls. Since the establishment of the Western Diocese, her faithful servants have been envisioning a period that would embark the beginning of a new era. Development and success of the diocese led to the most awaited step, the construction of St. Leon Cathedral. On October 2nd of 2007, with the high presence of His Holiness Garigin II, Catholicos of all Armenians, the groundbreaking ceremony was conducted. The construction of the cathedral began in 2008 and was completed in September of 2010. By the efforts of the faithful and with the leadership of His Eminence Archbishop Hovnan Derderian, the Armenian community was at last ready to reap from the abundant blessings of our Lord. The construction of St. Leon Cathedral was finalized. The vision that the leaders of the diocese had in their minds for years was incarnated into the magnificent building that bears witness to the spiritual strength and incredible faith of the Armenian community. Having completed this glorious edifice, the consecration of St. Leon Cathedral took place on September 11, 2010, with the blessings of His Holiness Garigin II, the Catholicos of all Armenians. High-ranking Armenian clergy, diocesan primates and priests, as well as clergy from sister churches and elected government officials were present at this historic day. It is not by accident that this day coincided with the commemoration of the victims of the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center on September 11. The United States has become a shelter for many Armenians that have left their homeland in search for a new home. Without a doubt, the Armenian community has received unwavering support from this country, which has provided equal opportunities and protection. In response, the leadership of the Western Diocese and the Armenian community decided to consecrate St. Leon Cathedral on September 11 as a sign of hope and unity, which will strengthen and empower the American nation. The St. Leon Cathedral is not just a building, but a spiritual center of the Armenian Church, an institution that has been a foundation of integrity and moral heights for centuries. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. The construction of the Cathedral of the Western Diocese of the Armenian Church in North America reminds us that unity is a spiritual force that can lead our nation to great accomplishments. It shows that nothing is impossible with God and that those who trust in the Lord will prosper and be joyful. Now that St. Leon Cathedral rises as a symbol of our resurrection, it should also inspire us to pursue greater goals and achievements. Thus. May we continue to serve with the spirit of like-mindedness, compassion, courage, and humility.
These are the virtues that radiate from St. Leon Cathedral, attributes which we must infuse in upcoming generations and make sure that every Armenian child, every youth, and every young man is going to become a herald of success and leadership.